Entire books have been written about how to grow tomatoes successfully. They're like the prize of gardeners. But you're not gonna have to read those books. I'm gonna give you a few tips that when you follow them, you're gonna be able to harvest delicious tomatoes right from your garden. This first tip may sound super simple, but it's a really important one. Grow a tomato that you like to eat that grows well in your area. For example, here in the low desert of Arizona, we get two kind of short growing seasons. Those big, beautiful heirloom tomatoes don't always grow really well here. On the other hand, smaller types of tomatoes, they grow amazing here, and you're able to get a really great crop. Out of the tomatoes that grow well in your area, choose the ones that you most like to eat. Three of my favorite tomatoes that grow really well here in the low desert of Arizona are celebrity tomatoes. You're going to get nice slicing sized tomatoes all season long. Steady producer, disease resistant, easy to grow. Another tomato that grows really well in the low desert of Arizona are Romas. These tomatoes are perfect for making salsa, which is what we love to do with the Roma tomatoes. Another tomato that does really well here in the low desert are the yellow pear tomatoes. I grow these every year and we get lots of tomatoes, plenty for snacking, roasting, sharing, lots of tomatoes from just a couple of plants give you plenty of just fresh eating, fun snacking tomatoes. Another tip about growing tomatoes is to plant them in the right location. The most important component Sunlight. Tomatoes need sunlight to grow well. Tomatoes that don't get enough sun aren't going to grow well and are more prone to pests and diseases. Another tip is to make sure that you give your tomatoes plenty of room. Allow at least two feet between tomato plants. When you see the little tomato plant, it looks so small and you think, oh, that's not going to take up very much space. But before you know it, that tomato plant is going to grow large and you need to give it plenty of space. Giving the tomato plant enough space allows plenty of airflow and that helps prevent pests and diseases. And it helps you be able to manage the plant better because there's enough room to get in and maneuver and harvest the tomatoes and see what's going on with the tomato plant rather than it just being overtaken and not enough room for that tomato plant. Now that you've chosen the best type of tomato and the perfect location for that tomato, it is time to plant. The best tip for planting tomatoes is to plant them deeply. Planting the tomatoes deeply encourages a more extensive root system and a healthier plant. Remove all leaves below the top leaves on the tomato transplant. Dig a shallow trench or a deep hole depending on how deep your beds are and plant transplant so only the top leaves are above ground. Roots will grow along the entire system of the plant. After you first plant your plant and you've planted that whole root system, you might look at it and think, there's nothing going on, this tomato is not growing. Be patient, there is a lot going on underground. Those roots along that stem are developing and growing. It's gonna have a great extensive root system that you provided by planting the tomato plant deeply. So you've decided what tomato to plant, what location, and you know how to plant it. Now the next important step is knowing when to plant that tomato. Tomatoes don't like it too hot or too cold. They really don't like freezing temperatures. So find out when your local frost date is. For us here in the low desert of Arizona, it's usually around Valentine's Day. And plant your tomatoes after that date. Pay attention to the weather. If you suddenly get a cold snap, be sure and protect those young seedlings from freezing temperatures. Although our growing seasons here in the low desert are short, we get two planting windows for growing tomatoes. The first one is in the spring after our frost date. And the second one is late July or August when we get those kind of higher humidity and warmer temperatures that come with the monsoon season. So you can plant tomatoes successfully at both times of year. Find out the best time for you to plant tomatoes and plant them at that time to give your plants the best chance of success. Tomato plants are hungry. In order to do well, you're going to need to provide extra fertilizer for tomato plants. My favorite fertilizers are always organic because then you're feeding the soil as it feeds the plant and it keeps the plant nice and happy. Look for organic ingredients in fertilizers and feed them regularly. Without proper fertilization, plants do not produce as well and are prone to pests, diseases, and weeds. We don't want any of those things to get our tomatoes, so be sure and feed your tomatoes throughout the growing season. This next tip is all about watering. The best time to water your tomato plants is early in the morning. Give them a nice deep drink and so they are ready for the day. When you're watering, be sure to water the soil, not the plant. Water on leaves, again, pests and diseases. 
Don't get water on the plant. Wa always water the soil. When you think about watering, water deeply. If we just give short, shallow drinks of water, then that plant is just going to encourage the roots to just stay shallow and close to the surface. Whereas if you water deeply, it's going to encourage root development all along that root zone. So be sure to give your plants a nice deep drink. Deep extensive roots help plants withstand dry spells. Water regularly as needed. Mulch is a tomato plant's best friend. Not only does it eventually break down and become organic matter for the soil, but it also insulates the soil and holds in moisture and keeps out weeds. Tomatoes love to grow up. It's important to provide vertical support for tomatoes. I've grown tomatoes on everything from ladders to rebar, any kind of trellis you can think of. Tomatoes aren't necessarily picky about what they grow up on as long as they have some support to grow well. Find a method that works for you and be sure to provide support for your growing tomatoes. Here's a tip if you're growing tomatoes in the low desert of Arizona. It gets hot. That sun is really hot. Once temperatures start to climb, it's important to provide shade for those tomatoes. Shade can reduce the air temperature for tomatoes by several degrees. It also extends the growing season. Providing shade helps reduce the stress on tomato plants and can prevent sun scald on ripening tomatoes. Shaded tomato plants are more likely to survive the extreme heat and may perform better when cooler temperatures return. There you have it, my best tips for growing tomatoes. I hope you have a great, successful harvest of tomatoes this year. Make some salsa for me. Thanks for watching.